In this presentation, we will calculate cost per equivalent unit using the weighted average method. Last time, we computed equivalent units of production, equivalent units of production for materials. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. And conversion. We're going to use this information now to apply out the actual costs. Note what we're talking about here are units as opposed to the costs. When we consider the journal entries, we want to consider dollars. We're thinking about dollars and we therefore need to do some type of conversion between units and costs. Here's gonna be our given data. So our data that is given, we're now talking about the dollar amounts. We're talking about the dollar amounts that were spent. We know what the dollar amounts are. What we don't know is how to apply those dollar amounts out between the various departments. So here's gonna be our given data. Work in process in June 1st for uh, the material costs has 6,731 for conversion, 4,312. And then costs added to production in June, the current month that we are in, so the beginning costs and what we incurred, the 130,483 and the conversion is the 89,243. So here is our calculation then. We have the work in process for June 1st. We have the materials. We're just pulling these numbers down then. The $6,731 that we're talking about now, not the units. And the conversion, 4312 That comes up with a total if we add these two up to 11043 Then we have the costs that are added. Again, we're just pulling these numbers down. The 13483 uh, And we're pulling down the $89. 243 those add up to 219,724. if we then sum everything up or total this out we've got the total cost the 1143 the 219,726 uh, for 237.69 and then the materials total costs for the beginning and what was added 6,731 1,030 483 is the 137,214 and then the conversion we had the beginning amount of 4,312, and then we added 89,243 for a total of 93,550. So there are our total costs that we need to now apply. We're going to have the equivalent units then, considering the equivalent units from our prior slide. So that's the uh, 6,534. We're now getting these equivalent units from our prior slide here. So 6,534 and for conversion to uh, 6,237. So in other words, here's our total cost broken out between the materials and conversion in dollars. Now we're gonna be using these equivalent units and applying these out per equivalent units, which we will later use to apply out our costs. So we have the equivalent units. We're gonna divide those out then. The cost per equivalent unit will be with this uh, 137214 divided by the 6534 gives us the $21. And then if we take the, so now we have our dollar amount, our cost per equivalent unit, and we can use that cost per equivalent unit as kind of an average to help us to apply out the costs to the appropriate department. In other words, we will calculate the cost for the units that were transferred out and we'll calculate the costs for the units that are still in the work in process for a department.